It's week 15 of the 2023 season, and we'll see the Colts' creative quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Colts and the Titans, and it's... So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll look to throw. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. First and 10, Taylor now. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. That terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Looking to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He was looking for Michael Pittman that time. But it'll be second and goal. Well, as you can see, they're not operating at full health today, partner. That's been a big story the last couple of weeks. But the bottom line, their record is solid. And you know that this is still a very dangerous team, even with those guys missing. With it, touchdown! A great effort there! After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he's got it home. And they work this out past the 25. They go play action here on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And he's caught Michael Putman with it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. And going right back to Pittman. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Holding. Offset. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. He'll take his shot for the end zone. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a close touchdown. Well, this is good. It's set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Out to his left. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. A very solid gain of 27. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking for Pearson. He's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Colts take a three-touchdown lead. A nice throw there by the second unit. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, 
This blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. Back to throw now on first down. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They'll look to throw here. And that one too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Well, touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Out of the gun now on third down. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On play action, they'll throw. And that is caught. It's Winslow. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. Just shy of the 20. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Rolling to his right. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He's had a very nice day throwing the football, and I think on this play, he's just trying to buy some time so he can make another big throw downfield. Unfortunately, couldn't connect on that one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows it a route for their kick. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he's got some space here. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The time is cold. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. And quickly, they get to the line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are in great shape here as they take over at their 40. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Room here to run. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All right, we'll bypass the halftime show in favor of returning to this late-season game with the teams coming back from the locker rooms here a bit early. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. That's good. 
Got a man. It's complete to Jelani Woods. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Taylor. There's a nice move. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 145 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now back to throw. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Second and six. And he rifles one incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Blankenship's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that Charles on season long right there. And you know he's really excited. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's got Pierce. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And just a yard to go here on second down. Now a handoff. Taylor with it. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll look to throw. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Mo Ali Cox. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Back to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Touchdown, Colts! Michael Pittman. We are in the fourth and final quarter as the offense will have the football starting this drive first and ten. The throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. The fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. But their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make every touchdown. Michael Pittman with his second TD of the game. Well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now, what can the offense do as they take possession? On the handoff, this is Taylor. 
And they'll get him down here at about the 42. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They run once more with Taylor. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Boy, 179 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. On the handoff, Taylor. Calling a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. Late stages of the game here in the fourth quarter as this offense takes over first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll get this one to Pittman. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. on the left side complete. And he'll be hauled down to the back of 30-yard line. Well, Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but, boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And, partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for